This JTV News update is brought to you by Natchico Insurances, the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Colonial Insurances, Tertola General Services, and the Caribbean Insurers Limited. It was a stiff competition between the St. George's Secondary School and the Brigado Flax Educational Center at the finals of the 2018 edition of the Intersecondary School Debate. Allow me to perform a fact check on the proposition. The leader of the proposition spoke about private companies operating more efficiently. Ladies and gentlemen, are we to believe that government operations cannot be efficient? Mr. Moderator, our newly appointed Deputy Governor, Mr. David Archer, recently proposed making a public service, making the public service more efficient and effective. He has a plan and spoke about using more technology and reducing staff in some areas. Not once did he mention privatizing all sectors of the public service to achieve his goal. Government have a responsibility to evaluate themselves and to try to improve to benefit the society. The leader, the leader of the proposition said that different companies will compete to offer, lower, to offer lower prices and better quality. Ladies and gentlemen, all three telecommunication providers have been performing very poorly. As my colleague pointed out, the consumer, competi the consumer competition policy that should protect us and deliver us cheaper prices do not exist in the BVA. I don't know what dream world the proposition lives in where, pro where private companies will just care enough to make sure prices are affordable. Unless, the, unless we have the legislation and regulations to guide them, we the public will suffer. But it was that strong rebuttal and the form opposition of the moot, privatization of the public sector will serve the public interest of the Virgin Islands, that resulted in the Vortingorda based secondary school beating St. George's of Tertola, who were last year's winner. Mr. Moderator, born 2016 in an article in the Harvard Business Review, highlighted the fact that the success of privatization is situational. What may work in developed countries should not be a reference point for a small territory like the BVI. Firstly, the private sector has a profit-seeking motive and does not operate in the public's interest. Public utilities are regulated in the public's interest because individuals rely on these services. Private sector managers will have no problem adopting profit-making strategies that make essential services unaffordable or unavailable to segments of the population. This is often the case in small countries that choose to privatize the limited public services. In the Caribbean, the callousness of the private sector is also visible. In Dominica, the electric company Domlec, which is privately owned, has increased their rates twice since the devastating passage of Hurricane Maria in 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, this has happened while some Dominicans are still without electricity. Firstly, privatization can encourage a climate where contracts are awarded for political reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, our territory is small. It's small, and politics often plays a role in when and to whom contracts are awarded. It is not a coincidence that 20 contractors were needed to repair a small section of road in Anigata just before election in 2015. Nor that road wash contracts were signed days before election in 2007 and 2011, according to BVINews.com. A forensic study conducted in 2012 found that in 2011, a previous administration awarded a staggering $30.8 million contract to one local construction company just days before election. The impending privatization of the airport will surely bring its share of allegations of corp corruption and political favor. We can unequivocally say that increased privatization in an already political driven system will not solve the public interest. It is my understanding that once a company is privatized, it will be conducted with more regard to its customers. Mr. Moderator, the main reason corporations exist is to generate profits for their shareholders. 
private companies make a profit by enticing customers to buy their products in preference to their competitors by increasing primary demand for their products or by reducing costs. It is also fair to say that private corporations typically profit more if they solve the needs of their clients well. Social Security Board has recently made the historic purchase of 33% of the National Bank of the Virgin Islands ownership shares. Distinguished judges, Mr. Clarence Faulkner, chairman of the National Board in, the, in an article on BVI News dated May 12, 2017, has said, and I quote, the sale of these shares has provided a much needed resource, resources for the bank by raising 15 million in capital, end of quote. Do we hear this? The National Bank of the Virgin Islands has obtained an additional 15 million in capital. This is due to the benefits of privatization. As seen, judges, tonight the opposition presented the argument that privatization will not magically enhance the quality of services. But my opponents, some good old customer service magic does exist. Mr. Moderator, remember the government is overburdened. This means that unintentionally, the quality of these government-managed entities are usually a secondary priority. On the other hand, privatization enhances the quality of services due to business owners managing and focusing on the immediate needs of these services or products. The main equation of a businessman is, Good equality plus security plus care equals profit and happy long-term customers. Need I say more? The intersecondary school debates aim to develop effective communication skills among the territory students while creating a platform for intersecondary school interactions and new friendships. With this JTV News, I'm Kathy Richards. When it comes to your health, being uninsured is never an option. Listen to some sound advice. Magico's Nagicare is one of the best medical insurance plans your money can buy. We offer you solutions to medical coverage benefits tailor-made to your budget and preferences so that the next time you visit the doctor, you can rest assured that we've got you covered. Visit our website, Nagico.com, or contact a Nagico office or agent near you. Nagico Insurances, we've got you covered. Lasco products cools you down when on the run, nourish and keep you healthy and strong. Lasco drinks in flavors of guava pine, apple, tangerine, grape, and melon berry, all in wholesale and retail quantities, only at Tertola General Services in Port Purcell, where you can also get your supplies of Lasco instant pack drinks, milk, and so much more. Tertola General Services, the home of Lasco products and so much more, wholesale and retail quantities. Check us out today. Be frugal. Spend your money wisely. Here in the Virgin Islands, we are blessed to live and work in paradise. Paradise just doesn't mean our tranquil blue waters and green hills. National Bank of the Virgin Islands defines paradise as any place or condition that fulfills your aspirations. To me, paradise means knowing that I will have a financing partner when I'm ready to open my first business. I feel confident that I can manage whatever life throws my way because I know my bank will be with me every step of the way. That's why I choose National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. My future's looking so bright, 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 with the official bank of paradise, dice, 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 paradise. National Bank of the Virgin Islands, the official bank of paradise. If you're looking for extra savings and free benefits with car insurance and home insurance, Colonial has just the cover you need. There's a free $250 gift voucher for new home insurance customers too. And 10% car insurance discount if you have home insurance. With a claim service that's quick and friendly. We call it cover without added costs. Call for a quote on 494-8450 or Virgin Gorda 495-6403 or visit cgigroup.com. Colonial, where people come first.